Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Adventures of Tardy Penis. Um, so I think we've pretty much talked to everyone we want to talk to. Let's check out our journal here real quick. We do have to find out who's threatening him for being gay. We have to inform Metallus that Vernon is the threat. Okay, no. I don't think he's the threat, unless he probably kills someone because of that. Uh, access the tunnel beneath the city to find his ring. Find Quintus and investigate whether he's a threat. Uh, I think find a way into the abandoned palace. Ah, talk to Urin. Urin we have not talked to yet. Uh, obtain an immaculate door from him. Identify the people, person most likely to describe. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think the only person we haven't talked to is Urin, which I don't know. Let's see, Urin's house is right here. Maybe we should start there. And is he home? That's not. Is that you? Urin, perfect. Hey, you're the one who killed all those bandits, aren't you? God, I sure oh, am. That must have been. What do you want with me? What's your story? I don't see why I should share it with you. You know, fair enough. I took a drink because I thought you were going to spill it. Do you know way out of here? So my wife disappears a couple of weeks ago, and now everybody thinks I know a way out of here. I wish you idiots would just leave me alone. Fair enough. Did your wife find a way to escape the city? I know well, you just said that, but... Anymore. That's all I know. I want to know where she is. How should I know where she went? I woke up one morning and she was just gone. Didn't say goodbye, didn't take anything with her. And now you people won't stop harassing me, judging me, asking me questions like you think I had something to do with it. Well, I didn't. And nobody cares that I've lost my wife. They just love a bit of scandal or to find out how they can get out of here too. You're all animals. You're hiding something. Intimidate. Ugh, should I do it? Fuck it. I swear I didn't hurt her. I would never. I love her. And if I'd known she was leaving, I would have gone with her. I honestly don't know anything. I keep going over it in my head. Did someone kill her? Surely that would have broken the dwarves' law. Maybe she went wandering into the underground tunnels, or into the palace, and never found her way out? But why would she leave in the night? Was she involved with someone else? Not that it's any of your business, but no, I don't think so. She was loyal, I think. She used to write me love letters. I still have one, somewhere. But even if she'd been seeing someone... She couldn't have kept it a secret in a place this small. True. Rastasia would have known about it for sure. Who is Rastasia? I'll be going now. All right. Please, let me know if you hear anything about Macy. Macy's Day Parade? I've heard it's fun. Yes, ma'am. I hear you're handy in a fight. Glad you're on our side, love. What's your story? My story? <laughs> Oh, not much to tell, love. I just work the land, make sure we've got enough food for everyone. Can't afford to run out here, you know? It's hard work. Probably harder than being Jarl. But I don't mind it. Keeps me active as I'm getting on a bit. And Everybody's just kind of staring at me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't think the Jarl's works hard? No, love. I don't think he works hard at all. And I'd say the same to his face if I ever saw him. But he's always hiding up there in his citadel. Doing... You know what? I'm not even sure what he does. I know he doesn't keep order. We've got the dwarves' law for that. But live and let live, I say. As long as I have a roof over my head and food on my table, and good neighbors like Gulvar, I can't complain. Do you know way out of here? Oh, come on, love. It's not that bad, is it? You've only just arrived. Why not give the place a chance before you go looking for a way out? Fair enough. Uh, I don't belong here. I need to get out. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, but I'm afraid I don't know if there's a way out or not. 
Now that I think about it, you might want to talk to Degland over at the Honest Trader. Offered to sell me a way out a while back, but his price was steep. Up to you. I already For did. Now. And I don't think it's gonna work. Let's actually check this sunken house. See if there's anything in here in the past. Because if there's something here that might have implications to someone, probably not. Oh, a trap door requires key, eh? Okay. I was totally right. Now, who would have that key? Maybe that's where... What's her face went off to? Interesting. Okay. That's good to know. I gotta remember there's a cave down there. Next on my list is to do a bit of hunting in some houses. I think I'm gonna check this dude's house first. What is your name, Rikus? Let's see here. Where is your house? Is it up here? Citadel. Honest treasure. I'm gonna find it. I swear to God, I'm gonna find it. There it is. So it's on the inside of the loop, looks like. So is it this one? Vernon's house. Oh, he's right across the way. Right here, huh? Okay. Let's go in while everybody's out and about. Have ourselves a look, see if we can find some dirt on him. Maybe that'll take his armor. All right, let's see here. Unfinished letter. Oh. Interesting. Uh, can you move the text? This is your final warning. Okay, so he's the one threatening Vernon. Red inkwell. That's good to know. Armor's challenge. I've already read that. Probably would have gave me a level. Fork. I don't know what that is. Orvin ingots. It's got a warhammer here. Rhinestone. Okay, well, we did find who was threatening Vernon. So who do we take that to? Do we take it to Vernon or do we take it to Rykart? And I'm saying we take it to Vernon. It's very funny that it was that way. Oh, I don't think Everybody's I've spoken to you. talking about how you killed those looters. <laughs> Well done. Okay, that's a little scary, but what's your story? Why, you think if you butter me up, I'll start making food for you too? <laughs> Forget it. My kitchen's for Citadel residents only. Go make your own food. I just wanted to talk to you. Well, fine. My story? I'm the Citadel cook in this life. Not exactly how I thought my life would end up, but it's better than it was on the surface. How are you doing? What was your life on the surface uh, like? That. Seems like a long time ago. I had a very easy life for myself in Markarth. Married to ah. a silver merchant. Maybe it was a little too easy. I was bored. <laughs> A lot. Started looking for something to do. A friend introduced me to Skooma. Uh -oh. It was fun. For a while. But you know how it goes. I was yep. a living cliche. <laughs> Lost my husband. My Got all your teeth still. That's good. My easy life. <laughs> I don't know if Skooma then does that. But. I found myself <sighs> doing things I'm not proud of. That's when I realized if I couldn't keep myself away from the skooma, I'd have to keep it away from me. So when I found the entrance to this place, I knew what I had to do. Haven't touched the stuff since. Still get the cravings. I have some skooma on me if you want it. Sometimes I'd kill for one last bottle. 
but uh oh no point in thinking about it down here right Oh, I have some school. <laughs> uh, no. Do you know a way out of here? I got myself trapped in here for a good reason. No yep, way I'm sure going did. back up there. So, no, I don't know a way out, and I wouldn't want to know. Fair enough. I'll be All going. Right. See you later. Well, good for you. Taking it into your own hands, quitting cold turkey some good stuff now which one is right or uh vernon at vernon's fresh produce okay that makes sense okay i don't like reichard so we're gonna uh-oh uh-oh is he okay requires key requires key wait what time is it i can't wait here did I just miss him from the hours? What time is it? 7 p.m. That probably means that he's already gone off to bed. So we're going to wait until it's time for him to get back to work. 8 a.m. should be good. And he's still not here. Son of a bitch. Okay, well, I'll find him. Ah, uh, Vernon, Any there you are. Luck working out who my secret admirer is. The person writing threatening notes is Rikus. Rikus? The big crazy nod who walks around with his weapon drawn? Of all the people it could have been, he's the most terrifying. True. I haven't spoken with oh, him yet. All right. Well, see what you can do. I think it would only inflame things if I speak of him myself. Fair enough. Let's go find the big dummy. Wait, have I talked to you? I hear you defended the city from attackers. Well, aren't you making friends quickly? Thank you. I'm glad you came when you did. Yeah, there's actually quite a few people that I haven't talked to yet. What's your story? Oh my, it's very nice of you to take an interest in my life, dear. But you don't need to humor an old woman. I'm not humoring you. Hear me. Oh my god. I am not humoring you. I'm genuinely interested. <laughs> really? Well, you're the first person in the city to say that. Well, let's see. These days, I mostly just sweep the streets here, keep them clean. Cleanliness is next to godliness, or so they say. It's not very inspiring, as you can imagine. But the alternative is to wind up like poor Dooley. Who the fuck is Dooley? Oh, you haven't met him yet. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll introduce himself to you sooner or later. He's homeless. He lives in a cave by the lake. I feel sorry oh, for Oh, really? Him. I think most of us do. But ever since his brother died, he's... He's been obsessing over some long-lost treasure. They huh. all decided because he can't work, he doesn't deserve to live in a house like the rest of us. So he lives in a tent in a cave of sorts. But don't let him drag you into it. I'm quite sure it's imaginary. A great <clears throat> loss can do terrible things to a person's mind. I know what you mean. Well, anyway, that's about all there is about me to tell, I'm afraid. I'm not very interesting. I'm sure there's more to you than that. Well, the most important thing in my life is prayer. So let me ask you. Have you found room in your heart for Mara, Mara the Mother Goddess? <laughs> uh, 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 sorry, I just remembered I have to go do something. Uh, I can't, couldn't care less about your god, old woman. I have something to do. Of course, dear. Don't worry, I get that reaction a lot. Perhaps I'll see you later. whether something will break the dwarf's law. It probably will. Oh, I bet you're a hit at parties. Speaking of Did which, I talk to Rastasia will yet? we see you at the tavern tonight? Absolutely not. Same as always. Goodbye, Rastasia. And please, stay out of trouble. I hey, Rastasia. I some looters for us. If only there was something I could do to thank you. Let me know if you think of anything. What's your story? You want to hear about little old me? Aren't you adorable? 
But wouldn't you rather hear what I know about everyone else around here? Go on. Ask me. You know a way out of here? one way out of this city, and that's through the bottom of a mug of moonshine, if you get me. Solve all your problems. At least for a while. But then again, some folks will overdo it. Ulrin, the Dunmer fellow, can't miss him. Hit the drinks pretty hard after his wife, Maisie, disappeared. Just mm. sits there, night after night. Poor guy. Wish I knew what happened to her. Caught lots of people talking, but nobody seems to know anything. Odd. Have you heard any rumors? Nobody here locks their door, except the Jarl. I hear there's a locked room on the top floor of the Citadel, but nobody's seen what's inside. Heard any rumors? There's something creepy about Marius up in the Citadel. Plus, he never comes down to the tavern. And you just can't trust a man who doesn't drink. Hey, I don't drink. Calm down. Did you know there are tunnels running all the way under the city? Last one to go down there was Only Brandon. milk I drink. It sent him to his deathbed. Did you know that beautiful palace above the lake is sealed? Brawl says the last person to go in there locked it behind him. I wonder what's in there. Did you notice the big crack in the floor near the city gate? They say some poor fool fell to his death trying to scale the front of the citadel. Have you seen Rigus walking around in that shiny armor of his all paranoid? Like those dwarven statues are going to- I'm going to just keep hitting this until she runs out of dialogue. And she oh, did. so soon? Well, you know where to find me, honey. Shh. She's right there. Shut up. Um, so... Huh. Let's go find... Rikus. He's probably up practicing if I know him, which I do. Vaguely, barely. Talk to you. Have I talked to you? Domitus, yeah. Get away from me, yeah, you're the I asshole. I forgot. There you are. Hey, bro. What do you want? Uh, I want you to stop walking, first of all. So you're the one who's threatening Vernon. Yeah, so what? What are you gonna do about it? I cast a spell that makes you Vernon's pleasure thrall. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna ask you to stop threatening him. I'm gonna make you a sex slave. I'd wager you don't even have the spells to pull off something like that. If you're trying to scare me, you'll have to do a lot better than that. Damn it. You yeah. about your threats from Vernon. What are you going to do to stop me? Uh, I'm gonna ask you to stop threatening and him. Why should I? Do you know what he is? His his presence here is going to break the dwarves' law and get us all killed. Uh, if that's true, why haven't the dwarves' laws already been broken? Maybe they haven't worked it out yet, but they will. Now take your stupid arguments and get lost. God damn. Okay. Bye. Well, back to Vernon to see if I can talk to him about anything. I for sure thought there was going to be a duel or something. We'll see. Hey, Vernon. Oh, right. What about him? I've spoken to him, but he hasn't. <laughs> but I haven't sorted it out well, yet. All I can ask is that you do your best. Okay, well that. Okay, stop phasing through him to step on the door. I'm gonna phase through Wanathan here for a second, but that seems to be a bit of a dead end. So let's keep snooping on anyone else's place. Gulvers. He's the guy that uh, showed us to the place, right? He, he was our tour guide. 
see if he's got anything interesting in here. Dwarven stuff, that's fine. A broom, cool. Large metal plate. Hide armor. No, seems he's clean. For now. Oh, this is his axe. Maybe I can take this and put it in somewhere else to frame him for something. That'd be interesting. Okay, next on our list. Yismir. She's right there, I believe. But she'll never know. <laughs> okay. Nor's of Skyrim. Just got a lot of armor. Steel coin purse, I don't want to. Moon sugar and skooma, eh? Common clothes. Nothing too out of the ordinary here, it looks like. Room up there. I feel like those heads have something to do with something. Didn't find anything here. So next we go to... I don't know why I said I know where we're going next. Let's see. And here is Oren's house. I'm going to wait for Rikar to, uh, you know, go away. Stop it. How am I still hidden? There we go. Now I'm hidden. Or I wasn't hidden. Okay. Oh. Into the underground tunnels. Letter from... Oh. From his wife. I know I don't tell you no this enough, but you are a beautiful man. I know hate... I know you hate being trapped down here, but I honestly don't mind it. As long as I'm here with you, I'm home. Love always. Interesting. The locked room. He's got a bunch of books. That have to do with... Lock picking. And he's got a... Got a... Let's enter the tunnels. And hopefully we don't die of the radiation. Otherwise, I'm just gonna reload but i'm gonna try to not die and whip myself around all right i hear some creature okay we seem to not be dying okay good it was just a skeever okay hey well here we are in the underground tunnels i didn't think we'd uh get here this quickly, if I'm honest. Empty wine bottle. Looks like just to be a sort of dead end. That's a lot of blood. Oh, hello. So you can actually do this. Uh... I'll take those. Fuck it. You can actually do this quest at level five. Because I saw that uh, once you turn level five, that's when she sends you the uh, letter to help find your brother. So that's why the enemies are so low level. There's skooma, moonshine. Okay. Bunch of barrels down here. There's a... Uh, Excavation site, Dwimmer excavation site. Think it just gives me fragments? Yeah. I'll, I'll see what I can do with those at some point. Level 34. And these are the tunnels that... Vernon's key, yeah, see. Master robes of ritual. Immune to stagger and taking half damage from attacks while casting a ritual spell. That's interesting. I wonder what's with all the blood. Huh. 
Marcus Shero. Is this something? What the fuck is that? Yo, that's sick as fuck. Okay. I think we've explored all the... Yeah. Here's the dead skeever that I did. Yeah, and then this goes back up the way I came. That's just the void. Interesting. Okay, sorry about that. I had a bit of an interruption. What the fuck was I doing? <laughs> it it might have been nothing for y'all, but goddamn. That was uh, quite a bit of time for me, about an hour or so. Anyway, we went through all this. I'm going to go through it one more time just to see if I didn't take any other paths. Yeah, because there was this room up here with this. Uh-huh. Ebony Claw of Extermination. Sounds cool. These things I can actually take. Some skooma. A master lock chest. Okay. Easy. Actually goaded. 35 lock picks. I'll take them all, every day, all day. And two armors I don't necessarily care about, right? Yeah, it's just hide armor and leather boots. Okay. I'll take the arrows. Where does this go? Honest trader. Interesting. Now there is a blood trail coming up from here. I wonder how this is connected to the other underground tunnels that we went to. Roll Scholar's Chambers. Okay. Anything over here? This is... Do I have the key for this? I do not. Okay, I thought since it just said chambers, I think those are my chambers, but I don't know. Probably not. There's something in there? No? Okay. So these all go to everyone's rooms, I assume. Ah. Identify the human remains in the underground tunnels. Interesting. So there's a knife. A couple of septum. Septum. Hmm. Wine bottles. Ingots. Huh. How would we go about doing that, eh? The closest room here... Oh shit, hello. Giant skeever. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, bye bye buddy. You have a good day. Oh, he's back. Hello, friend. Underground tunnel key. A skull. I should take the engraved necklace. Oh, here we go. Oh, show him the necklace. Oh no, dude. Oh, that's unfortunate, bro. And I think that was a dead end, so now we just need to go back the way we came in. Oh, that's heartbreaking. I thought she got out. Dang. And I believe it was over here, yeah? This little... Little torch marking our exit. Thank you. Hopefully he's not home. I don't know... Okay. Let's get the hell out of here before we're caught trespassing. And let's see. Where is he? Is this him? It is. Can I help you with something? Is this your wife's necklace, dude? Yes, it is. Where did you find it? I found it in the under in the tunnels underneath your house inside a giant skeever. A skeever? You mean she's she's dead? Oh God. Yeah, sorry man. She's dead, isn't she? I need to see her one last time. Can you show me where she is? There's not much left to see. Oh yes, of course. Maybe it's best if I don't. I don't know if I have the stomach for it. Oh, God. Literally just a skeleton. All this time, please, at least tell me how she died. Do you think the skeever killed her or 
Or did it get to her after she was already dead? There's no way of knowing. I think you killed her and left her body down in there. No. Uh, there's no way of knowing. No way of knowing? Gods, this is going to haunt me for the rest of my life. I... I think I need to be alone now. Well, sorry, bud. Oh, you're Dooley. Oh, uh, hello. I... I wasn't following you. Okay, you sound like Adam Sandler doing a bit. What's your story? My what? My, my story? Oh, do you want to hear about me? I'm She's sorry, just taking up all I sorts of jobs, huh? Very good. I only remember some things. I am... Um, Why is she staring at me while she does it? It's creepy. Horrible. He used to look after me. And he said he always would. But then he died. Now nobody looks after me. I... I'm not very good at remembering things. Sometimes I forget. So I need help. That's why I need some help finding Harrible's treasure. What are you looking for? Well, my brother told me before he died that he had left me something very precious in a secret chest. He hid it away just for me. I've asked mm. the others for help, but they don't help me. The yard even wrote me this letter, but I'm not very good with words. Here. Do you... Do you think you can read it for me? Tell me what, what it says. Okay. Let's see here. Little books. A letter from the Jarl to Duby. I'm writing you in relation to your continual requests of assistance finding your brother's hidden chest containing a so-called fortune. While I am sympathetic to your plight and passing of your brother for some years ago, uh, I wish to impress you... I wish to impress upon you the important message. The treasure you seek does not exist. It is not my place to speculate on whether your brother might have misled you or whether you are simply misremembering his words to you. I do not possess... Oh, I do not propose to discuss this with you again f further. Uh, I have... <laughs> <laughs> As I've had quite a lot of few complaints from your neighbors about you bothering them, I must ask that you stop this behavior immediately. Sorry, bud. Well, what does it say? I read your letter. You did? Oh, thank you. What does it say? The girl says there's no fortune and you should stop going on about it. I... what? No, oh, that can't be right. My, my brother, he, he told me. He told me he, he left me a fortune. He would lie to me. Why would he lie to me? You'll help me, won't you? You'll help me find it, please. I believe you, and I'll help you look for it. Thank you. All I know is rusty key hiding somewhere in the city. And you leave this rusty key. My brother gave it to me to unlock it. Did your brother tell you anything about where it was hidden? I I <coughs> I, I can't. I, sorry, I don't remember things so good. But he said it was hidden under the ground and that I have to Hold my breath. That's all I remember. Mm. Do you know a way out of here? A way out? Oh, no. I, I can't leave. I need to find Harrible's treasure first. About your fortune? Yes. What about it? Uh, I'll be going now. Oh. All right. Okay, well, holding your breath... And getting a rusty key is clear indication of this, where I found earlier. 
the tunnels, the cave tunnels, I believe. I wonder where this one goes. And I wonder if I'll need... Aha! Dooley's rusty key. I was totally right. Okay. This is quite the underground tunnel. Goes down pretty far. I want to see... No, that's just a pipe. But also just a pipe. Alright, let's see down here. There's something. I don't know what that says, though. There's a... There's the head. There's nothing over here. Okay. Maybe now I can get some air? No. He really expected his brother to hold his breath this entire time. That's something? No. No. This looks like a gate. Let's see. Was there anything here? Oh, or is it up here? Okay, there's some salmon to catch. Aha! Fishing pole and a skull and some mushrooms. Uh oh, who the fuck is that? I don't know. Take the arrows, take the potion of cured disease. Definitely need that one. Hello, sir. You're a Falmer. Or while well, you're wearing dwarven and Falmer gear. Stop right there. What is this one doing here? Oh, you're an Argonian. Uh, so am I. I'm Tardy Penis. I'm looking for a treasure chest. Ah, the locked chest. Yes, we have it, but have been unable to open it. Why don't you come in and join us for dinner? I have some questions first. Very well, but hurry. We are hungry. What are you doing here? We are explorers like you. We were exploring the bottom of a great mine when we found this cave. But just as we found it, the earth shook and the mine collapsed behind us. This is our home now. We are... Pleased to see someone in the flesh. Give me real cannibal vibes right now, sir. Ma'am, madam, sir. Don't know. Uh, what can you tell me about we the chest? We found it in the water down below, but we could not unlock it. So we dragged it up here. It is locked away in the lonely tower. Okay, who is this we? My siblings and I. Don't worry. We will all share in your company. God, you are just <laughs> pausing at the exact wrong moments I want you to pause at. Uh, what is this place? We are not sure. A lonely tower sitting all by itself in a forgotten pocket of the earth. It is strange, is it not? It is. How long have you been down so here? So curious this one is. We have been here for years, surviving on fish and this wondrous mushroom, and whatever else we can scrounge up. Mmm, like people? Good, That's good. all the question I this had. This one asks many questions. Now, let us eat, hmm? You're obviously planning to eat me. Try it, I dare you. <laughs> it is wise not to trust us. But the wise ones taste just the same as the foolish. Alright, bro. Into our lair. Quickly, let us eat it. What's this? No, dinner comes to us. Stop rolling away from me. Holy shit, that hurt. Ran on, bitch. No. Fuck you, bitch! Just wanted to feed. Yeah, whatever. Dwarven plate armor. Don't have that, huh? Dwarven pike I have. Okay. 
<laughs> uh, lonely tower key. Okay. Flawless boots. Don't need any of that. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, you whore. I don't know, Magicka. Oh, God damn it. All right, come on. It hurts us. Yep. We just wanted to feed. Just wanted to feed. I know, I know. Don't need any of your shit either. Okay, anyone else? Anyone else here to feast on my flesh? Oh, cool. What is this? Master chest? Okay. Oh. Fucking sick. Found it first try. Right here. Well, not first try, but you know what I mean. It was very easy. Epic. All right. Looks like... Yeah, see? They're, they've eaten people before, eh? <laughs> All right, let's go into this tower. Use the key, dumbass. Don't waste your once a day key on that. Okay, more dead bodies. I can take these ruined books. Good for Latoria. Oops, didn't mean to take that, whatever that was. Yeah, I'll take the ingots, but I won't take any of the other. Yeah, that's 42 pounds, it said. Jesus Christ. Citadel key. Hidden fortune. Complete letter to Dooley. Okay. Uh, where is the letter to Dooley? <sighs> i wait for those words to go away because I, I have trouble reading this enough. If you're reading this or have someone you trust to read it to you, it means that I'm dead. I'm sorry I won't be able to t look after you anymore. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I am dead. <laughs> Hold on. I'm sorry I won't have anyone to take after you anymore. I want you to try really hard to remember this important. Yarl Metellus cannot be trusted. After leaving... After leaving you this note, I am going to confront him and what he has been doing in that locked room in the Citadel. Oh, that's probably what this key is for. If I do not return, it is probably because he has killed me. With this note, you'll... Find a key to ask the uh, find the key to your own locked room. You'll have to find someone with a good heart and a good head. You are always uh you are always a better judge of character than me. They'll know what to do. Your brother. Okay. Well. Does this go into the locked room? No. Sure doesn't. Oh, there's some stuff here though. Here, move this. Minor destruction, scaled helmet of illusion, wielding, a oh, gold ore. Oh shit, I'll take all that ore. That's nice. But that looks to be it. Okay. So now we just go back the way we came? We can, right? I don't remember it having a fall off. Or somewhere we... Oh, look! Yay! Excavation site! I like that these are all scattered everywhere. It's pretty cool. Like, it's a, it's a it's a fun little... Oh, and look, the light goes out when you've already done it. Oh, cool. And I got a perk point. It's a nice little, you know, like, ah moment when you find one. Okay, this is cool. This is a cool little water portal okay so we're gonna head back god do we talk to Dooley first or do we just wait where's the fucking where's the entrance oh it's up here okay <laughs> I'm scared do we talk to Dooley first or do we just go in and look at what they're doing here yikes I don't know man I'll talk to him first. Talk to him first, find out what's going on. Because unfortunately, 
the Jarl is probably the one doing all the naughty bits. Let's be real. Okay. Like that I can jump out of the water there every time. Well, Wanathan. So where the fuck is Dooley? Maybe we can't talk to him? You know what? Fuck it. Let's go find out what he's doing. And then we can talk to Dooley after. Unless he's right there. Is that Dooley? No, that's a dickhole. Hello, my friend. Habik, you're oh, yeah. okay, yeah. Your wife. I remember. I remember. Huh. Okay. Going into the Citadel to find out what that dude's up to. So who's got money on what? Uh, experimentation? Uh, just cannibal eating? Uh, God, what else could there be? What else could there be, actually? Just straight up murder? I mean, that's pretty much... Uh, that's pretty much everything that goes through my head. It's right here, right? Yeah. These are the stairs. And God damn. Let's go. Let's go find out who he's fucking with. Now. Can I be seen? Requires key. Okay. Now I'm going to close the gate to not suspicion even though my okay this is pretty uh yeah unlock it with the key eh, it don't work okay cool dwarven bow of crystals black ice okay not uh not something too crazy master door though unlock it with the citadel key who am I detected? Okay. Oh, sex slave was not oh God, what I thought. Not again. Please don't hurt me. Holy shit. You're alive. I'm not going to hurt you. The gods. Quickly. You have to let me down before that monster comes back. Uh, all right. Thank you. He'll be here any moment, so be quiet and follow my lead. Okay. One thing, get down, dude. Whoa, what the fuck? There you are, you filthy pig. Whoa, 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 calm down, calm down. Let me talk to him first. Please, Macy, be reasonable. If you attack me in here, you'll break the dwarf's law and kill us all. So you were the bad guy all along. After what you've done to me, I just don't care. No, think of your husband. Did that teleport me back in time? It did. Now. Damn it. Oh, uh, yep. Huh. Well, before you talk to me, sir, I'm actually going to reload that because I don't want everyone to die because she goes off the handle. So back to the Citadel. Now, I know this is a bit save scummy, but honestly, this quest is too interesting to just let it end like that. It's just too cool. I love it too much. I want it to keep going. So it's going to keep going. We're not going to release her this time. We learned our lesson there. We are probably going to talk to... Oh, God. Should we talk to the husband and tell him?
And then this just leads out to Forgotten City, yeah. I'll do this again just because... Yeah, I want the XP. Here's the master door. Okay, and here she is. Oh God, not a I'm not gonna hurt you. Gods. Quickly, you have to let me down before that monster comes back. I have some questions first. I'm really sorry, but I can't let what? you down. Why not? If this gets out, Metellus has broken the door's laws. You're all going to die. Because there's nothing in it for me. Yeah, fuck that. So you're just going to leave me here? If you want, I can put you out of your misery. I'll have to look for another way to save you. What? No, that's not... I... Please don't leave me here. Please. I'll do anything. Please don't leave me. Oh, it feels horrible, but I have to. Oh, God. Oh, God, it feels so bad. Oh, come on, dude. What the hell happened to me? What the hell was that? I don't even know. We're gonna go talk to the husband. And we're gonna start telling people. Let's talk to the husband. Hopefully he doesn't fly off the handle. Uh, I am going to save it right here, though, because I haven't all episode. But holy shit, this is just so cool. Okay, we're going to go find her husband. Tell him she's alive, that she's being held captive. And then hopefully he can scrounge up. I don't think I've talked to we you. Talk, but be quick. Domitus could be back any second. Oh, what's your story? I'm Safira. I'm from Markarth. From a part called the Warrens. If you've never gone there, don't. Just don't. About a year ago, I met a guy there. Said he was there for business. Nobody has any business being in the Warrens. But he had coin, and when he saw me, I saw a way out. Long story short, I followed him here. The more I think about it, though, I would have been better off in the Warrens with the beggars and skeevers. Okay. Do you know a way out of here? Why can't you talk to me in front of a Dominus? Because he's incredibly nasty when he gets angry, and if he saw us speaking, he'd be furious. Don't the laws protect you from him? If only. Look, whoever dreamt up the Dwarves Law didn't think it through. Maybe it was meant to protect people, but what it really does is make everybody too afraid to stand up for themselves or challenge people in power, and Dominus knows that. He's next in line as Jarl of this place, so he gets his way by threatening to punish anyone who doesn't do what he wants. He's never physically hit anyone here, but the point is, he doesn't have to. I've seen him make grown men cry. Nords, they don't cry easily. I cry most days. I think about leaving him, but where would I go? He says he'd make sure I wound up living in poverty again, like poor old Dooley. Is there anything I can help you to... Anything I can do to help? No. Interfering will only make things worse. The only way you can help me True. is to find a way out of this city or do something about the dwarves' law. I don't know if there's a way out or not, but there are places beneath this city nobody has ever explored. If I were you, I'd start with the tunnels. I'll do my well, best. I suppose that's all I can ask for. Do you know a way out Funny, of here? I was going to ask you the same question. <laughs> okay, I'll be going. All right. But we never had this chat, okay? You got it. Oh, shit. Oh, we just passed it on the stairway, swear to God. Is this outside? Okay. Let's go find the husband. I know that was a bit of a... <laughs> a little bit of an awkward conversation. I should have waited for that, but I never get the chance to talk to her, so I wanted to talk to her. Um, You? No, that's Vernon. Okay, there's the couple, looks like. There's Gaia. I think that's her name. Where is Dude Bro? Wait, doesn't he have a shop? What time is it? It's 8 p.m., so he's probably indoors. Let's wait until it's. Oh, God, I just 
realized that waiting here means that she's there for a whole nother day, dude. Oh, rip. Oh. Vernon's Vest Produce. Firefly Finery. That's the one, right? Pretty sure. I don't know, honestly. This recording is getting a little bit too long, but I am really just wanting to talk to that man. God damn it. Why aren't you in your shop? All right, where are you at? This one, you know, no, no. Get away no. from me, peasant. I don't want anyone seeing us together. Shut the hell up. You dickhole. Should I check his house? This is Yasmir's house. This is Orin's house. Let's go inside and check to see if he's home. If he's not home, I have no idea where he would be. Oh, there he is. Can I help you with something? Uh Metellus is keeping Macy prisoner in a locked what? room. You're serious, aren't you? That's it. No, 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 no. God fucking damn it. <laughs> well. I was hoping he could rally up the people and bring them down peacefully. You. What do you want? Damn it. Shut up. You fucking ass. I want your armor, you dickhole. God damn it. I don't know if he already went inside. I didn't see him go. Vitus? I don't think I've talked to you. Oh well. Let's try to get to Metallus before he does. If that's the case. Should be right here. Okay, let's try to get him before he does. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Killing him would cause a paradox, which will send me back, but I need him to just confess to his crimes. I don't need him to... Oh, shit, where the fuck is he? Oh, no. The sun, it's gonna kill us all. God damn it. <sighs> Where the fuck could he be? Well, I didn't get to him in time. On your way back to the original timeline. Okay. Well. Round three. Okay, so I already discovered her, right? I was going to talk to the husband from this save. Yeah. Okay. Free her. Accuse him of being the threat. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go back upstairs and we're going to find him. Tell him we understand he's the threat, and that will kill him if he doesn't cooperate. And hopefully he'll co cooperate. God damn it, where the fuck is he? Oh, there he is. Duh. All right, you sick son of a bitch. Hello again, my friend. Any word about the matter we discussed? I know who's going to destroy the city. Well, I hope your investigation has been thorough. I don't want you accusing the first person you suspect. So, who is it? It was you all along. I know what's in your locked room. Hey, keep your voice down. Do you want to get us all killed? Look, you might have noticed we're being watched by the dwarven statues everywhere you look. 
but I managed to break I the did know that. in that room. So in there, there is no dwarves law. Understand? What happens in my private room stays there. Absolutely if my not. If little secret gets out, then you and everyone else in this place is going to suffer badly. What you do next is up to you. You can keep your mouth shut, in which case we all live. Or you can let her go, in which case we all die. I'll keep quiet if you give me 2,000 gold. Um... I won't be part of this. I'm letting her go. God damn it. Well, I, we get... oh, I don't no want to do that option thing. either. I said I'd do everything in my power to help you. But here's the thing. There is no way out of here. You're stuck here for the rest of your life. Now get out of my citadel. I'm bored of you. Okay. Well, fuck. What else is there to do? I mean, I know I have to let her out. I have to tell the husband. Those are my only two options. I do need to get in there. I don't know who Quintus is. Wasn't there someone who wanted to overthrow him? Holy shit. This is such a, such a conundrum. Like I don't even fucking, I can't even comprehend. You, Hello, was it you? No. Hello, again, my friend. Looters were looking for an Imperial named Quintus. Know him? Quintus? No. There's no one by that name here. But if you're looking for an Imperial, I'd check the Citadel. That place is crawling with Imperials. Okay, well that's good to know. Shit! How do we fucking... Son of a bitch. We're going to follow this lead for now. It's not, it's obviously not the final straw. We got to find a way to fucking overthrow this guy. But we need to find, we need to find someone who can, is it you? My eye on you. <laughs> oh, you're the, you're the deaf guy. Gotcha, gotcha. Anyone else? I can put my weapon away because I can't kill anyone. Oh, maybe. Oh. I hear you. You must be Quintus. Quintus, my name is Marius. You must have the wrong person. You're lying. And perhaps you're not as stupid as you look. Well done, you found me. Now, what do you want? I want to know why you're hiding from your family. My family? Ha! The Dark Brotherhood likes to use terms like family, but they don't know the meaning of the word. They're still holding a grudge because I left them, you see. They don't like it when people leave them. It makes them look ineffectual. Say, do you happen to know whether anyone else knows I'm here? The note I found implied that nobody else had been able to find you. That is excellent news. Hopefully, it will be the last we hear of them. Now, what's it going to take for you to keep this quiet, hmm? I just want to make sure you're not a threat to the safety of the city. Oh, how noble of you. <sighs> I've admitted it. I worked for the Dark Brotherhood, and I was very good at what I did. But I'm quite comfortable here, as you can see. What would be my motivation to kill anyone now? I'd need some kind of death wish. Now, was there something else you wanted to ask me? Or can I get back to enjoying my retirement? I'll be going now. You do that. 
Okay. So, my question is... Can I wait for Metellus to go into that room where there's no laws, where the statue is broken, and kill him there? Because that would be very interesting. That would probably be the solution to my whole fucking scheme, is if I can get him in there. But, oh. But that would create a paradox. I can't have him killed. I can't have him killed. But saving the city in general would create a paradox, right? Who the hell is this? Oh, you're, uh... Dwamora? My father told me what you did to those looters. He says you're dangerous. What's your story? Well, as you know, the Jarl is my father. Or, at least, oh. that's what he tells people. What he doesn't tell anyone is that I'm adopted. And the worst part is, I don't even know why he adopted me in the first place. I mean, he doesn't seem to care about me at all. Sometimes I feel more like his prisoner than his daughter. If we weren't trapped in here, I'd run away in a heartbeat. Your father sounds, sounds very controlling. He really is. He's always telling everyone what to do. I don't know how everyone puts up with him. Did you know he calls this place his citadel? And he and his friends don't do any work. Everything gets done by the people down in the city. He'll probably try to make you work for him too. But don't just do whatever he says. People around here should really learn to stand up to him. Do you know way out of here? You know my father would be upset to hear you ask that. I love it. Me, I'm not even allowed out of the Citadel. I'm so bored. Father doesn't want me mixing with the common folk. He's all, why don't you read one of the books Gaia brought you? Books. I'm almost 18. I want to have fun, like, like normal girls my age. Or do anything to take my mind off where I am. I thought about getting one of those awful Nord tattoos. Father would hate that. <laughs> but then that bitch Asanji told me about her skooma habit. I don't want to drink it. Oh. Oh, but if I get some, I just know I could get that junkie to spill her guts about everyone in this place. No, I'm not getting you skooma. How about this? You find me some skooma, or I tell my father you were spying on me while I was in the bar. I'll see what I can do. Great. Fuck. I wouldn't Fucking little know bitch. Where to start looking, but there's got to be a stash or a recipe somewhere in the city. Come back as quick as you can. Shut the fuck up. Well, that was a waste of conversation. Hmm. What if I just open this gate? What if I just leave this gate open? Oh, it closes automatically. That's stupid. Okay. Well, fuck. Uh, I'm gonna have to do a lot more thinking on this. But I'm gonna call it there for this episode. This is... Such a good fucking quest, dude. It's hurting my head. It's hurting my head thinking of all these threads, all these opportunities, and... Oh, damn, it's so good. No wonder they made a full fucking game out of this. This is so good! Oh, but enough gushing. I'll see you in the next one.